Throw it to where he's going. Hold your shoulder when you step, Quentin. Then drop that back foot to the middle. Five quick, reset, throw it. Set a good base here. Good turn at the top, balance at the top, set, get it up. For a count, get it up. Turn four, five, set, get it up. Steam, hinge. Post, over. Hello, my name is Quentin Maxwell. I am an NFL, CFL, and XFL draft prospect <coughs> from IUP, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. And uh, today I'm going to be going through a chalk talk just to kind of show, put on display a little bit of the mental side of the game for me. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to go through a play that I would call on third and seven versus an over cover two. So the play is going to be an 11 personnel. We're going to be in gold 50. Gold is our tempo, 50 is our protection. We're going to go pistol, train right, open, curly. I'll break all this stuff down uh, one item at a time. But first, I'm going to draw up the defense. So.
Okay, so 37 over cover two, over front, obviously our strength is to the field. So we're gonna have our end here, nose in the shade, tackle on three technique, end here in five. Actually, I backed that in on five. We've got our will matching our running back. And because we've got a three receiver set, our mic is gonna be pushed a little bit so we can relate to number three. Sam is not gonna be as wide because we're in cover two, but he's still gonna be outside and in between number two and three. Then you have your corners at about five yards outside leverage, looking in. Boundary safety, we're gonna put him head up on a tackle at about 12 yards. Field safety, we're gonna put him apexing number two and three at about the same depth, 12 yards. So just for the sake of this, I'm gonna move the play so I can draw the defense better. Okay, so drawing up the defense now. So obviously I'm gonna start from the shell and then work down. So the corners, I told you five yards, outside leverage. They're gonna get hands on number, number one and then they're gonna fall off and play the flat. Right here, our field corner, he's gonna be hands on number, hands on our outside guy, eyes to number two, looking at the flat. Safeties are getting depth and width, taking away the deep half of the field. Now the biggest question in cover two, who's got the deep middle of the field? In this look, we're gonna go with the mic. He's gonna to drop to the three speed, open that way, and he's gonna to drop to the deep middle of the field, okay? Normally in a two by two set, these guys would be wall players for number two, and then they would just play off of your eyes. Well, he doesn't really have our will because it's a three by one set. His number two is in the backfield. So right here, Sam is gonna to relate to number two and play off your eyes. The will is going to drop straight back, relating to the running back if he goes to the flat. So now, as for our play. So we have 11 personnel. This is our formation. Pistol tells our back to go opposite the string. So pistol train right open. Back is on our left hip. Our X on the numbers, on the ball. Our Z is going to be on the outside edge of the numbers off the ball because we have our tight end on the ball at number three. So gold 50, gold is our tempo, means on two, allows us quarterbacks to see where the protection is, uh, where the blitz is coming, coming from. Today we are going to go with 52 protection. 52 protection is a half slide protection, man zone. So right here, 52, the slide side, the zone side is to the left. So slide here, slide here, slide here, and essentially these three, left tackle, left guard, and center, have the defensive end, the nose, and the will. They have those three. Our right guard and right tackle, our man on, the three tech, and the end. Our running back, he is it's a 50 protection, so five man protection, so he doesn't have any protection responsibilities. I would point right here to the mic and tell our, our tight end is gonna be hot on this play, okay? So if the mic or the Sam or both of them blitz, our tight end is hot. Now as for the route concept. Curly, pretty self-explanatory, is curl flat. We have push to 12, back to 10 yard, curl. Our running back is immediately swinging, okay? If he feels he gets to the numbers, he throttles down and he stops. We don't want him getting to the sideline. Our Y, number three, this is, he's got a little bit more of a complicated rule. He is running vertical to the middle of the field and hanging up. His rule is sticks plus two, but no deeper than 10 yards. So on this particular instance, third and seven, we want him going to nine yards. Our H right here, he's running what we call a jig route. He's running vertical to five yards, hitching, and rolling that into an out route. Making that a little bit, rather than a speed out to where he's out of there quicker, we have a better chance of grabbing that flat defender, which in this case is the corner. He can sit on that. And here we have our 12 back to 10 button hook curl. This is at five yards. So there's the route concept. Now as for our progression, when we catch the snap at quarterback, our first look is right here to the boundary safety. 
We're just confirming the coverage with him. If he's spinning to the middle, we know it's some sort of middle close, one high, or if he's spinning down and we feel any type of rotation, we know it's one high, we've got to go opposite that rotation. So if he was to go here, we know we want to try to work back here to the boundary. Um, but in this instance, you can see getting depth, width, we know, okay, it's a cover to quarter, quarter, half, anything, something middle open. So instantly, our, our first look always is number one to the tight end. We want to look there to our hank rock. Middle of the field, sticks plus two, no deeper than 10. Now in this particular coverage, after we go there, we have to feel which one of these two linebackers takes him away because this Mike is worried about getting depth. And we're, we're trusting that our tight end knows to snap that off in front of him, put a good throw on a big body, catch, fall forward for a first down. So we're, we're assuming the Mike is out of there. Okay. Now, if the Sam squeezes on this hank route, we want to work this curl. So obviously, the corner is going to be occupied by our jig route. The Sam squeezes, we've got a nice, pretty alley to throw that curl. However, if the will squeezes, we know the tailback is going to occupy this corner. We've got a nice alley if the will squeezes to throw this curl. So versus cover two on this route concept, we're going one, two, on the plant, we're looking for the tight end, okay? The will squeezes, reset to our curl. We go one, two, three to the tight end. The Sam squeezes from the field, reset, drive the curl through the window. So this is a, a staple play in our offense there at IUP um, and a, a version of this at my time at Ohio University. And you see curl flat run um, at every level of football. So uh, I hope this was uh, detailed and informational for everybody. And uh, just hope somebody gives me a chance um, in, the, in the future. And uh, I mean, if the team does take a chance on me, I'll make sure that I do everything in my power to make it worth it. So thank you very much. And uh, that's that.